Okay, thanks. Um, you're not rid of me yet because I have another question. Um, the Honolulu Prosecutor's Office works closely with the Honolulu Police Department. What measures should the prosecutor put in place to ensure that HPD will not exert too much influence over the prosecution of crimes committed by police officers? And this goes first to Steve. Okay, I think the, the proof's in the pudding. Uh, Megan and I both you know, fought for and interviewed a couple of times with Shopo with the police to try to get their endorsement. And, you know, they knew I had done this kind of thing before. They knew I was an effective leader, that I could organize the office, get it back in shape. But at the same time, they knew as the United States attorney, we had prosecuted police officers for civil rights violations, for corruption. I had actually done that. And they went to prison for years. So you've got to have enough stature, you've got to have enough authority to, uh, to say nobody is above the law. I said that all the time when I was U.S. attorney, when we would prosecute white collar criminals, you know, when we prosecuted all these political folks, you know, whether it was Gary Rodriguez, whether it was uh, Marigatani, whether, whether it was Danny Quijano, you know, they were powerful entrenched people. So what? They were the people we heard criminal stuff about and so we prosecuted them. So the police know they're going to get a tough prosecute with me. They're not going to get cut any slack. Uh, if they committed a crime, we will prosecute it. And they respect that. And in spite of that, they still endorsed me because I knew they knew I could do the job and would not be subject to any pressure. Thanks, Steve. Uh, Megan? Thank you. So Police officers are and should continue to be charged just like non-police officers. We go back to objectively applying the law against all people, including police officers or not police officers. But what I would also do is, you know, the lines of communication between the Honolulu Police Department and the prosecutor's office have been severed. The current administration was not working well with the Honolulu Police Department and in fact, Susan Ballard issued an internal memo prohibiting Keith Conishiro from attending any of the, the crime scenes, which he shouldn't have been there to begin with, quite frankly, but they need to train the police officers. People don't really understand that police officers are not lawyers. They're not trained in the law. They're not trained in the nuances of how the justice system works. And so in addition to making sure that police officers are charged, the prosecutor's office should work with the police department to have annual training regarding the laws and how to enforce them. Thanks, Megan. Uh, Steve, anything to add? Yeah, well, Susan Ballard went beyond that. She refused to have Keith come to meetings that would talk about intelligence and uh, you know, secret matters because she didn't trust him. The police department would trust me. I have spent 31 years as a prosecutor and a judge to, and I know how to keep my mouth shut uh, I've either been a prosecutor or judge the whole time. They will trust me to follow through with doing that and keeping secrets and otherwise. Uh, and training shouldn't just be an annual affair, but although I have gone for the last 20 years to the police academy to train the officers in being upright in doing the right thing. When I was head of the district and family court division at the prosecutors, we trained every class at the recruit class to be ethical, to be honest witnesses. We had them in district court and we cross-examined them and talk about the importance of being honest. Joint training between the prosecutors and the police uh, is a key part to it because we asked the police to do a lot of difficult things. Any police officer who shows up at a domestic violence scene essentially is being asked to be a detective, gather evidence, you know, do that kind of stuff. They don't get trained in, in in how to be a detective, that's later on. We've got to train them to be detectives from day one at scenes like that. Thank Thanks, you. Steve. Um, Megan, any final word? I will note that Keith Kaneshiro and Catherine Kialohara are an aberration to our system. They are not the norm. I believe, and I think Steve would admit that anybody that's the next prosecutor will be able to work well with the Honolulu Police Department. Keith Kaneshiro's federal investigation really put a damper on the prosecutor's office and of course um, gave Susan Ballard pause to allow him into the meetings and to come to the crime scene. But I, I don't see neither Steve nor myself in that position.